A loud and large demonstration in the heart of Midtown wrapped up just about 90 minutes ago. Unlike what we saw over the weekend at Washington University, there were no arrests reported on the campus of St. Louis University tonight. While there were no reports of physical violence and unrest at tonight's march and rally, there were anti-Semitic chants. We have live team coverage tonight of both sides of this growing conflict. We start with Robert Townsend, who talked with some of the hundreds of protesters. Kelly, for more than two hours, the protesters marched and demonstrated right on the SLU campus. Again, their messages were definitely loud and clear. It was a non-violent pro-Palestinian protest that initially attracted about two dozen people. But in just 30 minutes, a sea of St. Louis University students packed the steps and the grounds by the SLU clock tower. This is community. This is what solidarity looks like. As a Muslim woman, it is essential for me to show support for my brothers and sisters because my brothers and sisters has be, been under the war, under occupation for the past 75 years. Hundreds of anti-war protesters held Palestinian flags, signs, Palestine will be free. and chanted against the October 7th Hamas attack on southern Israel that killed at least 1,200 people. Alam Jaber is a PhD SLU student. I believe in the liberation of Palestine. I believe in the liberation from occupation all across the world. It is of utmost importance, and that's why I'm here. The group Occupy SLU Coalition organized the event that also attracted dozens of parents, their children, and St. Louis's like Michael Berg. It's just a horror that doesn't have to happen. And as we come across this part of the university's campus, you can hear these people are shouting, cease fire now, cease fire now. Again, as they continue to walk across the campus, the crowd continues to grow. They trek to a popular fountain area near Grand and Lindell, down the street from the Fox Theater. Minutes later, the protesters marched back to the middle of campus, where they sat in a circle, blocked traffic, and kept spreading their messages. As armed officers from SLU's Department of Public Safety kept an eye out. We need to come together and say we don't want this to continue. Again, amid all that protesting, we did not see any problems or arrests. Live in Midtown, Robert Townsend, 5 on your side. Protesting.